This video is in continuation of our first video where we talked about how to count emails using the basic HTML mode in Gmail. In this video, we will talk about how to count number of emails using the standard view of Gmail. And we are going to talk about two methods today. The first method will teach you how to deal with uh, frame objects in particular and dynamic objects in general. And the second method is a simple workaround when working on frame objects. When you record upon the link objects in standard view of Gmail, the object hierarchy looks something like this. So the difference between this and basic HTML view is we have an extra frame object in the case of standard HTML. Let us now go into the object repository to find out what properties has QDP used to identify these objects. So the frame object is identified using some string which looks dynamic. If you are not sure and you want to verify whether a particular property value is dynamic, you can close the application and run it against the recorded script. If QTP throws an error on that particular object, you can be pretty sure that the recorded property is dynamic. So the question is, uh, how can we deal with such objects? How can we deal with dynamic objects? Let us see using object spy what other properties uh, we can use to identify the frame object. I'll click on this button. Take the hand pointer on the link object. I'll move uh, one level up the hierarchy. And we can see that uh, we may also make use of HTML ID whose value is canvas underscore frame to identify the frame object. But you know, uh, there are chances that uh, we may have more than one object having the same property. So to be sure, let us create a description object for frame object class and find out the number of frame objects we have in our application inside the page object as the child of the page object. So I have created a description object for the frame object class and I am counting the number of frames inside the page object. I run this piece of code. It shows that we have fra four um, frame objects inside this page. I will make use of control loop to find the name and associated HTML ID for each of these frame objects. Let me run this piece of code again. So as we can see here, HTML IDs are unique across the frame objects. The name property that was stored inside the object repository was this. So we can safely use this HTML ID to identify the frame object. Uh, using a line descriptor programming method, I created the frame and the link object. So now if I run this piece of code, QTP is able to identify the frame object and it shows me the correct value as 2.
The second method is actually quite simple. Whenever you find a frame object in case of web applications, you can safely ignore the frame object. So in this case, I can safely delete the frame object and have my link object as the uh, child of page object. If I run this piece of code again, you can see this that QTP is still able to fetch the required value. 